British policies and their impact. The British India Company came to India as traders in spices. Then they traded silk, cotton, indigo, dye, tea and opium. They never concerned about the welfare of the common people. The company aimed at achieving three objectives to increase profits from trade, to increase the profitability of the territories it held in India, to strengthen the company's hold on India. This rule by the officials. Some officials misused their powers and forced peasants to pay more revenue. Indian artisans and craftsmen forced to sell their goods cheaply which these officials then resold at higher prices. Complaints about the malpractices of the company's officials reached England to regulate company's functioning and keep a check on its officials. Company introduced acts such as the Regulating Act 1773, Pitts India Act 1784, Charter Acts of 1813, 1833 and 1853. Regulating Act 1770. The Regulating Act, however, had many defects. It failed to regulate the activities of the company. Pitt's India Act 1784. The Prime Minister of Britain, William Pitt, introduced this act. This act set up a board of control. The Governor General was given additional powers, also made the supreme commander of the British force in India. Charter Acts of 1813, 1833 and 1853. Various Charter Acts were also directed at curbing powers of the company. Charter Acts 1813 and 1833 ended company's trade monopoly. The British Parliament strengthened its control by Charter Act 1853. Agencies of Administration Civil Service, Army, Police, Judiciary, the Civil Service. Lord Cornwallis started the Civil Service to administrate the British territories in India effectively. The Fort William College was set up in Calcutta in 1801 to train civil servants. From 1853, civil servants were selected through a competitive examination. The British did not allow Indians to compete for higher posts. The army. The British needed a strong army to control Indian. Indian soldiers were called sepoys, most of whom were recruited from the present day states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Jharkhand. These sepoys were used to conquer more territories, protect British territories from the rifles, suppress internal revolts against the British. The police. Lord Cornwallis created a permanent police force in India. Each district was placed under many tanas, each headed by a daroga. Towns and villages had kotwals and chaukidas. Later, the post of district superintendent of police was created. The judiciary. Baron Hastings and Lord Cornwallis gave a proper shape to the judicial setup. Civil and criminal courts were set up at the district level. In 1833, a law of commission was appointed to codify Indian laws. It compiled the Indian Penal Code and established the principle of rule of law. This meant equality before law as it professed the ideal of one law for all.